You, stop fine. How much time do you need to open this door? And there's, there's no food on the table? I just need a few minutes. A few minutes? Do I look like I have a few minutes to wait? You, you seem to forget one thing, that this is my territory. And when I say I want food, I want it done immediately. All right? I don't care how you do it. Just do it. I'm going to my room and when I come back, I want to find food on that table. Otherwise you'll get to know who the lion is in this house. Pamela, you okay? No, you're my princess and you can tell me if anything is wrong so I can fix it, right? Please hurry up so we can leave. Uh, I need to get to work early after I drop you guys off. I have a lot of meetings today. Make it quick, mommy. Here you go. That was uh, Tony K with the song Our Days, a great song from back in the days when we were young lions. Speaking of lions, let's talk about Annette. She called me last week and this is her story. I have been married for the last seven years. Things have been okay until about six months ago when my husband changed. 
He started coming home late from work, very drunk. We have not been having any major problems in our marriage, but since he changed, our home has become a very volatile place. Whenever he gets home drunk, he's this arrogant, demanding man who doesn't care about anyone or anything but himself. He wants food ready for him just as he steps in, water to take a bath, soup to drink, anything outlandish one can think of. He has asked for it at some point. As an adult, I can find a way to deal with it. But I have two children aged six years and five years who I feel will be affected by our, com our confrontation. I don't know what to do because he's a very polite and caring person when not drunk. So it's even difficult for me to approach our relatives for a solution. Please help me before my children end up affected for life. Have you heard what she's saying? This guy has... and daddy yeah. and when you're done you're going to tell me what they're doing use the crayons on your table and you can start drawing Okay, everyone, you're going to tell me what you drew. And let's start with you, Carol. What did you draw? Yeah. I drew the mommy and daddy. They're eating and watching TV. That's a lovely picture. And you, what did you draw? I drew mommy and daddy watching TV. Oh, that's a nice TV. I like those colors. And you, Pamela, what did you draw? Daddy thrown mommy down on the floor when he come home. Daddy did what? Daddy thrown mommy down on the floor when he comes home at night. Princess, how was your day? It was very nice. We did some drawing. A drawing? That sounds interesting. So what did my princess draw? I hope uh, handsome daddy. Teacher told us to draw mommy and daddy. Okay, can I have a look at it? Let me see if my princess is gonna be the next one gold. Wow, so what's mommy and daddy doing? Daddy throws mommy down on the floor. Princess, I'm sorry you had to say this. Sometimes adults disagree and do things they don't mean. I love you and your mother very much and I'll never do anything to hurt you please forgive me uh, I'll never do that again it will never happen don't scream at mommy because because it makes me feel sad that I promise I promise the two princesses 
right?